Hello everyone, I'm Elder Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here in Old World Blues, continuing as the Western Brotherhood of Steel. So last time, we took out a few people, we just basically directly annexed Umbra. The Shi declared war on me, and yes, I know that the Brotherhood of Steel really doesn't care about Chinese or Communists or whatever, just they declared war on me, so we made a reason to fully annex them, which some people liked, some people didn't. Can't take it back. Oh well. But anyways, let us go ahead and begin, or really, solidifying our path to take out Klamath. Ooh, Blackwell Paladins, thank you very much. Now, at the end of last episode, I did say I was going to try to make war justifications go by a little bit faster, and fortunately, I cannot do that unless I just use console commands to get an instant war goal against these enemies. Oh well. I tried. I do have the War Justification mod on, but I think it doesn't work for Old World Blues. Doesn't matter. Um, so, we're going to go with Klamath, but right now we're going to go with Field Fortifications. We're still looking like we're getting some more Naval XP. That's great. And I am a little bit worried about the future. For example, uh, we have a couple of these guys are 12 combat width compared to the Knights, which are 10 combat width. I'm going to assume I'm actually going to use infantry at least a little bit in this campaign because, well, we're only allowed so many power armor battalions. So, I really would love to have an army of just power armor, but the developers said no. Oh well. Cool. Anyways, um, get a new commander, Stonewall Coburn. Hello there. So let's do that. Let us do this, and then... Kaiser's Legion, very good. Ooh, some more divisions. Good. Good, good, good. And you are actually 10 combat width, which isn't ideal, but doesn't matter. Uh, if that's the case, just deploy here. Uh, oh, wait. I need to give them orders. I, I let them have their own little fun. But I forgot to give them orders. My apologies. Awesome, and just basically garrison the entire area, including Navarro. We're going to need to keep Navarro. Good, and now we can do that. If that's going to be the case, I'm going to shorten you by two, because I want to eventually increase the number of knights we have. No, not the knights, the garrisons. Yeah, I know it's weird. Garrisons are actually going to be offensive, while the knights are going to be defensive, whatever. Um, combat width isn't bad, but we only have so much power armor we can use currently. And I can't raise that just yet. After these two divisions are done, I'm going to not make any more power armor divisions until we have enough of a... or we can make... or have enough of a cap. If our cap is high enough, really. That's what I'm trying to say. Words are hard. Regardless, we get about 1.34 political power a day, which is nice. And how many days do we have left before we go to war with Klamath? Whew, that's all, quite a few days. 130? That's okay. We got focuses to do. We got things to build. We got research to get done. We will be building up humanity once again. Uh, you guys head on up north. That's about half of you guys up. Oh, Viper combat legs for more land doctrine. And I know the ship that I want is called the Pride Win. So, I know, I know. We got about 5,000 manpower. Ooh, oh, no, I went a day over. Whoopsie, my bad. Let's see, let's do secure equipment. The NCR has maintained vast quantities of technology that they are incapable of using with the intent of denying us access. For not the first time, we shall offer them technology and lesser equipment in exchange for these vital machines. Very good, very good. Now, how strong is the NCR? What are they up to? Retaking rat Rattletail? Huh. Oh, I remember. When I played as the NCR my for my very first campaign in Old World Blues, I think... I believe I did the same thing. Retaking Rattletail. I think the NCR normally goes that way. It's been a very long time since I've actually recorded that video. Regardless, I really want to smash Klamath. Really want to smash him. You know what? I don't like you over here. Send one more. I'm just a little bit worried about supply. Supply is not a very bueno right now. And this might hurt our chances. If anything, I want you guys to come down here. And I want you to come right there. Three, two, one, two. That's fine with me. I kind of like it like that. Um, next up, we're... Oh! The Veil Bandits join the Phantasmal can Cartels. Well, whatever. It doesn't really matter to us. Awesome. Uh, how strong is Klamath? They have like 8 to 10 divisions. 8 to 11. Not a lot of manpower, which is nice. What we really need to do is encircle and destroy. I'd probably attack this tile first. It's the weakest, with 4 divisions. 
Um, you're not really balanced. Please come over here. You're both mountains, so. Four against two. We probably went pretty well. New Reno, what are you up to? Uh, a little bit of manpower. A couple of divisions. They did go with White Pond E4 for more daily people support. The NCR has declared war. And, huh, interesting. I do want them to go with the NCR. I want to make the NCR pretty darn powerful in this campaign. Until I take him out. Now, concerning some couple things, I would like to see several chapters of the Brotherhood. It isn't my idea to completely obliterate the wastes under my power armor suit. I would like to have chapters of intellectual Brotherhood or Brotherhood allies. For example, the Iron Alliance is or can become a very good chapter of the Brotherhood. Oh, country join Northern League, so be it. Um, they can become one of our chapters, which I hope they do. They might not, but they might. So, I would like to add them into my alliance. Ooh, we got a lot of political power. Very nice, very nice. Gonna save that. Supply consumption could be really good for now, just because we're already hurting. Oh, wait. Do we have supply consumption? I think it's down here, actually. Yeah, recon speed, or recon division speed, decryption, quartermaster for less supply consumption, which is actually really, really good for areas like the mountains that we will be fighting in. I think that might be worth it. Um, this is all this stuff is really good over here. Oh, oh, the NCR accepts our terms. Agree to trade the industrial equipment for the military information and guides. We are, we are, we were finished with them decades ago, and these machines shall take us far. Plus ten percent construction speed. Very nice. Very, very nice. You guys are okay. I want less cons um, supply consumption. Because even though it's only 12 and a half combat width, they still use one and a half supply. That's a lot of supply. For being a small division. Next up. Now we got a lot of good things here. Construction speed, bay, area reconstruction. How about, instead of stripping the sub, we develop the slums. Because we could use more water. And monthly population. The people of the Bay Area has long suffered from what would one would expect. A lack of clean water, dedicated crime, and shoddy housing. Taking the time to render aid to these people could ensure long-term loyalty to the Brotherhood and give us just cause to place a series of high-quality water filters in the area. Sounds like a win-win. Cool. And I'm going to save up my political power, perhaps. I could roll out technology to scavengers for more research speed. Not really, really necessary. Ooh, motorized flight. I'm not sure which one I should do. I think in the meantime, I'm just going to do triplane attackers. Just because, well, they're pretty cheap and available. Oh, clay working. Very good. Basic tools. Sound good to me. The Warren is having a time with the marrow drinkers. Oh, but they got encircled. Ooh. Well, that is no bueno for them. Quite no bueno. Mm, good. We just built another civilian factory. Oh, they made... A double encirclement in exchange for that one. It'd be best if you took Bend Rally Troll Worm. But you know what? If the Marrow win Drinkers win, which I don't think they will, that'd be really good. Yeah, they're definitely not going to win. They're going to die. Good. Oh, dedicated workshops. More output. I love the output. Ah, plant cultivation. Sure. More monthly population and recruitable population factor. Oh, uh-oh. Another kind of cutoff. But they do have some supply. Ah, uh, Chichen Itchen Empire declared war on La Tierra de los Tzotzel. So be it. So be it. Good. And how many more days? Just because I want to make sure that I have enough political power. About a month. So I can go and raise my conscription, or I guess my economy law. I don't need to raise my conscription because we can't. But I do want to justify next on the Bone Pickers. Because right now, if I justify on them, that's 375 days. Holy cow, that's a long time. That's a real long time. Holy goodness. Oh, but we got 126 naval XP, the Rapids, the Scorpions, anything else I should really be aware of that's going on. The Iron Alliance is doing okay against Wither Dogs. The Vipers were annexed. The Desert Rangers will go with the NCR, because I told them to. But in the end, like I said earlier with like the Iron Alliance, um, they could become a potential Steel Ranger chapter for us. So I might puppet them and give them some sort of authority regarding the wasteland. And, yeah, defense is nice. I need more special forces. The same thing with the Republic of the Rio Grande. They have the ability to go with the Rio chapter. Hello, where is that? Where'd you go? I'm going the wrong way. Hello? Where'd you go? Oh. 
This is a massive focus tree. I've never played as a Republic at the time of this recording. What? Oh, the Da Vinci of War. Holy cow. I must just not be seeing it. I must be blind. I'm blind. I do wear glasses. Yeah, I'm blind. But cool. Texas, Texas Arms... Texan Arms Association. And yes, I do have the focus tree on for the Texan Arms Association. Very cool. Very cool. And next up we shall get... Civilian Business or Destroy Hubology. More war sports and some supplies, or we get more population and civilian workshops. That sounds nice. The people of the Bay are often fearful when it comes to opening storefronts or attempting to form anything resembling a business, because... Such things are often prime targets for raiders and gangs, however. With the promise of Brotherhood pro Protection, we can usher in a new generation of civilians loyal to the good, the old, the fancy Brotherhood of Steel. Good, more divisions make me happy, but no more for now. We are allotted six, 70, 70. And now we can go to war for the den. Now this probably isn't going to go great. They, they've moved their divisions elsewhere, which is awesome. And let's go ahead and do that immediately. And gotta keep an eye, because New Reno does have a focus, eventually, for expansionism, to destroy Klamath or puppet them. Awesome. Uh, you know what, for now... I don't trust you guys too much, just do that. You guys, we've got gliders, we need more water. Can I get some water from somebody? Water would be nice. How am I getting one water? Immediately start justifying on you guys, or... I'm gonna wait to raise my economy law. Yeah. Alright, so that's doing well. That's doing well. In the north, we're doing well overall. Now, it probably won't end up like this for the entire time, and that's okay. Oh, there goes, oh, there goes the Texans Arms Association. I do want to justify on bone pickers as well. 255 days. You know what? Screw the factories. I need the, that done fast. Good. Medford's doing great. A glorious fight. Is this all... Is all this war and death really glorious? The Texan Arms Association has finally taken the major city of Gloria. Well, it's not like it's that far away. If you can, go ahead and stop assaulting them as hard. Please, please stop, please stop, please stop, please stop. I need to make encirclements. And I need you to not go that way. I want you to come here. And then go right there. New King declared war on Iris. Good, you're coming down here, and then you're going to come right there. Very nice, very good. Keep trying to encircle them. Kill them off if you can. Good. Field fortifications for more defense and organization. Next up, we shall do coordinated assault for more army breakthrough. I love the breakthrough. The breakthrough makes me a little happy. Don't waste your time going back. Good, do that, do that. If you can, strike for Klamath. Keep them, keep them busy. Keep expanding. Keep expanding. You guys should win down here eventually. We've destroyed 290 guys. We've lost like nine. So that's pretty good. If you guys come that way, you guys can hold actually. If you're getting attacked, just hold. You guys are doing well. Ish. You're slowly winning. Take Klamath. Take it. Take it. Come on, win down here too. Come on, you're taking too long. I don't like how long you're taking. Uh, then coming over here to here to here. If we cut all these divisions off, that would destroy a good chunk of their army. Well, I mean, quite literally. Anyone could see that coming. <clears throat> civilian business. I love civilian... Oh, there goes Texan Arms Association. But I love civilian businesses. And hangdogs were annexed. Oh, the poor hangdogs. How they were hung. Good. Come on in. Come on in. Destroy them. Good. Awesome. Immediately give them what they deserve. Immediately do that next. Hmm. If you can muster your way down here, that'd be great. Or at least do that. If they retake Klamath, it's no biggie. Really no biggie. Oh, encourage civilian businesses. Very good. More civilian workshops. Next up, expand private industry or curb raider aggression. Who cares about raider aggression? I want that manpower. Part of ensuring the safety of any given area is making sure that people are well armed and capable of protecting themselves when our patriots or patriots or patrols are not present. As such, developing the private arms industry in the Bay Area is necessary for our continued PR PR attempts. Now we have enough stuff, it seems like. I need some support companies 
probably just make some more guns for now. Guns are nice. Guns are very, very nice. Did you get defeated? How did, how did you get defeated? Plant cultivation, very good. Very, very good. Anything for engineering? Of course we could do more research speed, of course. Go ahead and take these guys out. This line really doesn't matter whatsoever. All I care about is you taking these guys out. Stop attacking. You're ruining my supply. Destroy them, destroy them, destroy them. Do not let them link up. That's the main thing. These three divisions, they must go bye-bye. Keep them in place, keep them in place. Come on, you, you take a long time, son. Yeah, these guys take a long time to kill off. That's not cool, but that's okay. Let's get some support equipment. Because I'll probably put logistic companies on those bad boys. Oh, wait, I don't have any planes yet. There you go. Cool. Make a nice little set of planes. Do that, do that. Awesome. We're going to need more electricity now. Good. If you can't get to the front, do it. If not, whatever. Um, I need logistic companies, too. Oh, there's not really much I can do. What about plane air stuff? I can't do these just because I killed off the she because they went to war with me. Then, you know, things happen. A flexible designs for more energy cell gain? Sure. Sure. Why not? I need some water, too. <sighs> Very nice. Oh, good. We got rid of that one division. Now these guys can move around the cabin a little bit more. You know what? Don't go that way. Come here. Come from underneath them. Awesome. Oh, I can't go to war economy? Well, go to partial mobilization then. Awesome. Good. Now get to the front. And be careful. Be careful. We've killed off a thousand of them. We lost 18. That's pretty darn good. They have only 400 divisions, maybe six left. Screw being careful. Go right ahead. Screw being even more careful. Go right ahead. Okay, you guys really don't like listening to me. Hmm. Get rid of all your orders. Do that. Alright, so they really don't want to listen. Okay. Okay. You know what? So be it. So be it. Kill these guys off. Just guard him for now. Go to Klamath. You don't listen, I tell you what to do then. I completely tell you what to do. If you don't win, well, then you go bye-bye. Oh, seriously, you're not going to even win here? Holy cow. I hate fighting a mountain so much. Mountains suck. Oh, they're going to build a wall. New Reno, unique mercenaries, experimental armor. Well, just move on in. Take Klamath and circle that one division to the north. Red Breakers declare one of the Marluk tribes. That's okay with me. I'll go that way if you can. That'd be really nice. Come on. God, it takes so long with such not very strong power armor divisions. Come on, go north. We gotta destroy that other division. Come on, come on, come on. Supply so bad. That's why I need logistic companies. You're not even winning. You're barely, you're barely not even winning. Oh, that's so bad. That's so bad. Uh, Steel Rain. Um, sure. For too long, we have struggled with and against the Xi. Their technocratic ways and willingness to tolerate crime in our area of influence have made it clear to man within the hierarchy of the Brotherhood that they are opposed to our goals and as such must be brought to heel, and they're already gone. Thank you very much. We could demand the Bay, but let's wait on that. Supply, armor, power armor production, develop Maxin, or we can do more infrastructure. Arms, infrastructure, arms, civilian workshops. I like civilian workshops a lot. Bunker Blues 2. Well, that stuff is okay. Scrap refinement. Production cost. Good more um, land doctrine. So with mutant ramblings. Despite what one might think, the vast majority of mutants are hard-coded warriors with an innate understanding of military tactics and doctrine. Analysis of the ramblings and recordings have delivered us with valuable tactical data in the past. Absolutely. Absolutely. Positively. <clears throat> and good. I have at least two planes. They're probably going to get shot down. And... There you go. Just do a little bit if you can. There you go. <clears throat> Special Forces Expansion 2. Acclimatization training would be great. Keep them in place. Keep them in place. Good. Destroy that division. It's annoying. It's a very annoying division. 
Let them starve, let them die. Oh, and they want to attack me, huh? Kazo's Legion Clear Warren Twin Mothers. Alright. Oh, actually, you know what? Help them out. Kill them off. Kill them off. Kill them off. I don't care about your organization. I really don't. Good. Good. Both of you come down south. Oh, do we. We didn't lose a division. That's good. Yeah, I don't know why. I mean, I told you guys to attack, and you're not really moving. It's not very cool, guys. Not very cool. Oh, uh, you're attacking me, though. Okay, whatever. Like, I would like the den, please. Thank you. I don't... Oh, God. Just just come on. Come on, guys. Just move. Please. I know you're not that strong, but let's, get, let's go. Let's go. Vamanos. You guys come this way. Destroy that division if possible. Coordinated assault. Very nice. Breakthrough. I'm going to go with Trooper Warfare just because it gives you more defense and gives you mostly more manpower. Good. That division has been halted. Oh, two divisions. Take that one division out. Pretty good. Come down here and encircle them. I don't care about the den anymore. Just encircle and destroy. You come here. Take Doris. Ah, resistors. I love them. Re more reinforced rates with smoke signals. Good. Get rid of that division. Those two divisions. Yeah, they deserve to lose most of the manpower for making me wait this long. Support equipment. What is New Reno doing? The Roaring Bears. Now let's get some logistic companies, because those will be very, very necessary for our divisions. Oh boy, come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Good, they die before they can do anything. Go for the den, go for the den. They've lost a thousand, more specifically almost two thousand. Jolly, jolly good. They want to encircle me. Well, so be it then. You do that, I do this. Very good, guys. Very good. And Klamath is ours. Now, I could release him as a puppet, but I need them right now just so that I can have uh, more areas to conquer. Yeah, it does extend my border with the NCR, and that's not really ideal whatsoever. But, um... Still kind of need him a little bit. Let's do that. We're going to need some support equipment. And we shall do this next. Yes, 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 yes. Good. We got a few more factories, a few more resources, hopefully. We got mutant ramblings. Yeah, we did get... Quite a bit more water, actually. And s scrap? Yeah, actually quite a bit. Actually, that's really, really good for us. Oh, crap. I let another day go by. I'm not watching that. I need more energy, though, as well as water. So, you guys stop training. You guys are probably pretty good by this t point in time. Navarro tactical data? That can wait. Demand the bay could wait. Um, Draw the sword. We need a civil war for that. Not a civil war, but a war with the NCR. Internal restructuring for more outsider recruitment and wastelander conscription, which would be very, very nice. Mojave veterans. And we can only go with Harden because Harden is the leader of the Mojave chapter. Yeah, that's what, that's what I was looking for. Increase the reliability of infantry equipment by 5%. Simplify designs. Huh. Powered management. Surge research. You know what I want? Let's do develop max, and let's see what that... Nah, eh, it's okay. It's not really great. It's really not great. How about Navarro Outpost? We can get Navarro Hangar Expansion, Generator Redesign for more electricity that we need. So Navarro is a fortress unto itself, but the surrounding area is largely lacking in any form of viable defensive positions. Investing in fortifications in these key locations will help us maintain our northern security. And it's all about security, my friends. All about security. How much longer must we wait until we go to war with these fellas? Not too long, actually. 80 days. That's much better than it was before. And when they're gone, I might just go to war with the Mylurk tribes. Oh, and Moctezuma could declare one Nueva Aztlan. That's probably a bad idea. Alright, sorry about that. I wanted a little bit of water. And what shall we choose next? Decorate a hero for more stability and war support. That's pretty nice. More consumer goods and research speed. Resources... Efficiency gain and construction speed. Anything down here? Speed, decryption, reconnaissance. Less experienced soldier loss. More recovery rate, which is nice. Or we could lose planning speed for more defense, max planning, and armor hardness. Or more attack and planning speed. Pretty good. 
You know what's really disappointing? That these research and production ministers or cabinet members, they don't really give you anything that special for being in the Brotherhood of Steel, the Western Brotherhood of Steel. At least in my current campaign here. I will go with less consumer goods just because I like I like having a lot of consumer goods. Go ahead and repair all that stuff. That's good for us. That's good. It's good stuff. I'm already getting water from the NCR. I don't want to trade too much more with them. But I need to save up my political power for now so that I can justify on... Oh, you're already fighting the Rib Breakers. Troll Warren, you're not trying to kill off the Rib Breakers yet? Hmm, one banner. And I really don't want to expand my border with the NCR. That's already a lot we have to guard against. So if we can keep pushing northward, that's the goal. And... All right, Lone Tree, you're back. You were taken out by some... Wait. Oh, no, 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 no. New Canaan didn't kill off Lone Tree. They killed off Iris. Iris is dead. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Iron Alliance is doing pretty darn well. What's going on down here? Oh, they're on fire. Moctezuma, well, they're not doing so well. Oh, the Rio chapter's here, though. Oh, no. You're under Elder Miller. Hello, Elder Miller. You're a puppet of the Rio Grande Republic, or Republic of the Rio Grande. No, the focus tree is gone. No. The special focus tree. Oh, hold on. Have I had that for a long time? Uh-oh. My bad. That was my bad. That was completely my fault. I let that go on for too long. That research? Oh. My. Terribleness. Actually, ooh. Good job, Iron Alliance. Good job. Maybe I'll go to North Kimmel Station. What do they have? I need resources. Ooh, logistic companies. Yes, please. They got a little bit of good stuff. A little bit of good stuff. Troll Warren has a little bit of good stuff. You guys have a little bit as well. Uh, I mean, really all around. We don't have a... A ton of stuff that we could take from other people. Uh, let's just grab some artisan guilds, because why not? Good. Good. Uh, good, we're doing well in support companies. We're going to need more, 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 more. Oh, you guys are going to stop doing what you're doing. I'm going to use you very well. Oh, and there go the Red Breakers, which will end their war with the Mirelurk tribes, which means I could probably take them out. Which might eventually put me in a war against the Troll Warren. Which isn't quite ideal, but whatever. Next up, let's get some generator redesign because we need that electricity. San Rafael has a large series of military-grade nuclear generators cooled by endlessly flowing seawater that have been dormant for decades. Rewiring these machines and connecting them with our facilities would give us an ample supply of energy, which we get five power stations. Muy bueno. Five whole power stations. How strong are the bone pickers? Well, they're not that strong, at least compared to us, which is good. But less than 20 days. Paladins. I don't need motorized. I don't need umber guards. I don't need spec ops. Paladins. Can I throw one more on? Yes, I can. Makes you 15 combat with. Hurts your supply. But logistics. Cool. Acclimatization training. That's good. Go ahead and immediately give me Special Forces Expansion 3. I get plus at least 7. 5% more. I'd, I love soft attack and heart attack, but I need I need that. And I want to do logistics. Yes, it does hurt our armor just a little bit. A little bit less piercing. A little bit less organization. But it does give us more HP and less supply use. Which is key. Because I will make these divisions bigger and bigger. Come on. Keep doing that. And we're not really getting that many energy cells every day anyway. So that's not good. Not too much longer. we got 10,000 manpower in reserve. I need more army XP. So that I can increase the number of divisions I want to make or have with these garrisons. Nice edit. Yeah, I definitely want... I need dynamite on those infantry divisions. Because dynamite is just so good. So much soft attack on dynamite. Good. Go ahead and go to war with these guys. You guys should be more than fine doing whatever you need to do. And give them some planes to work with them. There you go. Very nice. <clears throat> Kemalt Station or Marlurk Tribes? Well, let's see. With the Kemalt Station, they got four and four for divisions, or factories each. You guys have three and five. That's about the same, but resource-wise, that's not bad. Six, twelve, twelve. You have ten, but you got, oh, you got a little bit more energy there. Ooh, that's hard. If I go to Kemalt Station, that does string me out a little bit more, which means I could go to war with more people or get attacked by more people, but... With planes, you know what? Oh, let's go that direction. Just because we can, and we can maybe keep expanding in 
pretty much any direction we really want. You guys have been told to go crazy, which I like. Immediately, though, send them some logistic companies. I know, it's probably... It's probably honestly for the best to do it like this. Prepare defense, good. More entrenchment speed and more max defense. Get some more hard attack. I love it, love it, love it. Losses thus far include 0 and 32. Pretty good. This is going to take forever to kill off. And that's okay. Ooh, Miller. You're an infantry expert. And you're a mountaineer. Good. And you're an organizer. Very nice. You're led by the head paladin cannon, which is not an organizer yet. He's becoming one. And how are you not an offensive... Doctrine Leader. That gives you more attack. That's so good to use. Decode signals. Let's get some encoded signals. Muy bueno. Nice. These guys are all cut off. I love it when they get cut off. We've lost 5 versus 139. Pretty darn good. Take Ar Arago. Cause our legion to declare war on two sons. Muy bueno. You guys are moving in for the most part. Maybe except for you. And that's okay. Ghost Guards! If we ever build a port up here, you need to guard this. Oh, is there anything that gives me more war support? Yes, it does. More weekly war support for 140 days. Very nice. We only have not a lot. Generator redesigns. Very good. Navarro facilities expansion. More military factories could be fun. Navarro hangar expansion. Factory output. I like that. Uh, let's do that. The hangars of Navarro have been in shambles ever since we destroyed them during the Enclave War. Our efforts to reconstruct them have been long underfunded and lacking in enthusiasm, but as we turn our gaze northwards in search of better expansion, we may yet find the will to work. The will to work. Very good. And how long... Oh, it's like... If you can take them out, that'd be great. Actually, you don't even have to win. Just take their capital now. Oh, yeah, you probably don't want to lead with that type of infantry division. Uh, that's no bueno, man. That's no bueno. So, Kimolt Station. You will take about 150 more days. That's not too bad, considering everything else here. But, thank you very much, Bone Pickers. I appreciate what you have done to build up your nation. I really, really do. Good. And, planes... You will not have enough range to get over to where you need to be, so... Build one up in the den. Build all that stuff up. And build, build, build. Good. 72 factories. We have at least two lines doing stuff now. That's very good. Next up, I'm going to continue increasing expansionary stuff. Keep an eye on the NCR, because you never know. They might not like us. Oh, they're, oh, they're allied with New Reno. Already, wow. Oh, and Yakuza Territories wants to go to war with them. That would not be a smart idea. Mojave Raiders declare war on the Mojave Brotherhood. I just said, Yakuza, don't go to war with New Reno. They're only going to make them stronger in the end. Oh, well, they have the big dumb, though. The big dumb. Mojave Chapter, we're going to ally with each other someday. Someday. You don't have a lot of manpower. That's pretty normal. Encoded signals. Going to grab some vacuum tubes. That'd be good. It's 2277. Oh, I love it. Yeah, the NCR, you're looking a little scary here. I don't like how you're touching my lines. I, I I don't like this, guys. I don't like this. Please back off. I know I look like a, a tasty treat, but you ain't eating any of me. No, 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 no. I'm eating other people. I'm too busy for you right now. Oh, and actually... Oh, we have logistic companies. That's good. Oh, I want to make those guys bigger. Garrisons, throw on one of you... Oh, I can't... Oh, I need more army XP. Uh, well, what do we need? We need more support equipment. Guns are okay. Yeah, guns are actually pretty okay. Do that. Do you know, this will reduce the amount of electricity that we really need. That's good. Yeah, I need some dynamite. That'll make my division better and stronger. Oh, New Reno. Uh, that, that doesn't look too bad, actually. They took Carson City, but... That doesn't look too bad. That actually looks pretty good, to be frank with you. Looks pretty good. Artisans Guilds, good. I need dynamite. I need my boys to go ka-boom. And I want to finish this campaign with at least a new focus. So, this Siege of Hidden Valley has ended. Wait, what, what, would, what would have happened? That must have been a bloodbath. Ooh. Hidden Valley was taken out, but we have Navarro Hangar Expansions. We could get more factory output now, which would be a very smart thing in 
industry gear to produce something as complex and resource intensive as power armor can be easily retooled to do almost anything else. Absolutely. Plus 10% more output doesn't seem like a lot, but in time it will be more than enough for what we need, especially right now since we need more support equipment. And I can throw on one more battalion of infantry on these guys, which is really, really kind of ideal. And I'm going to let them train... No, these guys are already seasoned. We don't need to do that yet. Let's spend some political power, depending on how far we are with this, and then we'll call it an episode. How far are we with this? Halfway, I can spend it a little bit. Who am I going to spend it on? Decorated hero, stability, war support, resources. Oh, I love that construction speed. We need to build, 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 build until we're all dead. Oh, I would love to get rid of focus, export focus, free trade, no thanks. But let's go ahead and grab that guy. So, guys, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, maybe consider leaving a like, subscribing if you're new. Check out my Discord link if you would like to in the description below. And I will see you all tomorrow as we will go to war with Kimalt Station. Attempt to pierce their lines, which look very, very menacing right now. But like I said, hope you all have a great day. And thank you very much for watching. See you tomorrow.